Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a Just Because Reading Because I Am Bored. So anyway, um, I know that you can't see my face. It is what it is. And so let me just say, uh, if you are new, welcome. But I've had problems with people uh, with identity theft and things like that. And so the scripture says that if uh, a thief is... Uh, going to take something, then the, the curse is going to go up on your home. So if you think that you're going to take the work of my hands and use it for your own gain, you are going to have a curse come to your home and all of that. So you've been warned. Uh, I'm not churchy or religious. So if you are new, um, I'm just spiritual and obviously so are you or you wouldn't be here um, checking out a reading. So I prove that the name of Jehovah Elohim is found in the scripture. And so those, those little uh, videos are down below if you would like to check them out. So let's see here. Get this over. Excuse me. All right, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. If it is a special day for you, I hope it's fantastic. Jehovah, I just appreciate you so very much. What are you going to bring out here for this uh, group of people who have clicked upon this message? So we have the lover's card coming out here. And the lover's card came out today on one of my other readings. I want to say that, yes, it did. It clarified a card. So this is intimate relationships and, and things like that going on. And decisions with the lover's card. It is the V and or the W or it's a pictograph that looks like a Y. Something wavy is here where love and romance and things like that and intimate relationships have been, uh, you know, going on within families. And this is my uh, card that, you know, somebody's supposed to be in your life card. Okay, whether it's business, whether it's your home, whether it's whatever it is, it's a decision here. It's your polaric balance within that as well. So... This is the tenth peg nail in the Hebrew. Something happened at, you know, maybe you like to camp or you're dealing with somebody who likes to camp. We had the word dove come out today, and there's two doves in this picture. So we had, uh, I did a um, reading today, and uh, something about plucking, and a bird was there. And we had bird, we had falcons show up, and um, the word dove came out. So something about a bird or some some kind of bird connection or you like birds or something like that. We have the eight of uh, wands showing up here as well. And that is, you know, that's fast communication. That's Cupid's arrows, okay? Something, something's real passionate here within a decision. It's real wavy within the home showing up here. And somebody's going to get a new beginning for some of you all within some type of situation that's gone on. And that's positive, especially if you're forgiving or something like that. So the moon is here. And um, we have home situations going us a mother that's children that can be deception obviously there's been deception if there's deception if somebody's trying if somebody from your home for some of you I think it'll be for everybody given what the, you know the, the next three days we had the devil there and so that's either going to be divine grace for some people or that's going to be something devilish taking place but out of out of your own home okay we're also told in in prophecy that the, the, there'd be an enemy there, okay? Something to do with your children or your mother is here or something with your home or connected with your home is here. There's two wolves here in this picture of the moon and obviously wolves and, and dogs will howl at the moon and things like that, but if you if there's a wolf in sheep's clothing, then there are, okay? Because the um, dove would take us back to that type of energy. Something's very spiritual going on here. This is... Uh, you know, tapping into your intuition because of this communication or this travel with this decision that's here. Now, if that's past energy and this has been cycles of things going on for some of you all, then it's just been real wavy. The moon's been pulling on somebody's emotions here. Um, laying down, hunting, and chasing an ambush, okay? We had military energy come out, and that's, you know, military type of talk. 
laying down an ambush, okay? This is also righteous and humble energy with the moon and its romance as well. So only you know who you are. Let me just take from this uh, homemade deck here and see what's coming out here. Jehovah says that you need to, to stay calm today because there's something that's happening and it's huge. And something is huge, people. It is huge. Uh, some that came out in those readings, there was military everywhere. There was FBI for today's dates, and then the general reading had that kind of stuff coming out. And the Yom said he's going to bring a burn a witch in the Cardinal Fix Immutable Sign readings, and he brought it out in my general today as well. Something is huge, people. Uh, family is involved, and it's not good. Okay? Family is involved, and it's just not good. Well, it's right here. Right out of your own freaking household, people. Oh, my God. <sighs> Somebody says, when I think of you, it makes me smile and it's truthful. And somebody doesn't like somebody's connection or their love interest or their ex was stupid or some, something's taking place somewhere within some type of a situation. Okay, family's been involved in somebody's connection and it has not been good. And somebody is very truthful about how they feel about somebody and they get encouraged by a person. Okay, so... Uh, I talk about this all the time, and obviously, if family's been involved, and people need to stay calm because it's not been good, and they, they don't like how somebody talks about somebody all the time. I guess that's what she's saying. There's something about clothes here, and, and fix the problem, okay? Well, if somebody is coming back around to fix the problem, and you got family that needs to stay calm because the situation just in, in, in the hole hasn't been good, and it's going to take some real um, touchy communication to go slow with something to fix it. Then I guess that's what's showing, I guess. Show me the uh, lover's card. Show me the lover's card. The three of wands. The three of wands is about um, trading things or manifesting your ideas or it's enterprise, things like that. Um, there's a trail here. There's mountains here. Mountains go to blockages. It goes to obstacles and barriers because something's not been good here. Just need to stay calm, like Yova says, because something's happening today, and it is huge. Even if it's just spiritual, something's, something's happening. Show me the Eight of Wands in this communication, this travel. This is also an investigation card as well. Wow. The Fool. Well, this is, this is a clean slate, and it's also the Queen of Pentacles is here on this Eight of Wands. Okay? Well, that's a mother. That's any feminine. There's crystals coming out of the ground here, and we've been getting the word crystals, and we had pearls and crystal that came out for this next three days, for the 17th, 18th, and 19th. That's amazing that's coming out here. Somebody got thieved really hard. Something was foolish within some type of situation. Foolish communication for some of you all because there's some type of a deception here, and somebody just needs to stay calm. If somebody in your connection is making the decision to the family, I don't care what you think about my connection. When I think about this person, I'm going to talk about them all the time. I'm encouraged by this pro person. Whatever the freaking problem is, I'm going to fix it, and they don't like that. You always just says to stay calm within something because something is huge okay because there, there is something huge going on people there really is there's something somebody is dealing with somebody who again this is the tov that we always talk about in the hebrew marking out a place or it's a signature of some kind that was done within some type of a connection something's happened here within something that was deceptive around a mother or around children this queen of pentacles she's in the negative she is a stubborn jealous piece of crap and a half and she's in witchcraft this person's got a mask up on them so in the negative somebody is wearing a mask people so it's families involved it is not good for somebody we have the t we have two t's out here the tav and the sadi is out here which two T's would be the tet, which is a judgment, which is something dirty and somebody trying to catch somebody up uh, in a net. Store them down in clay. Well, it, it ain't going to happen. If you're upright, you're righteous and you're humble, you're always going to turn that thing around up on the stupid. It, it, look, the divine's word is not going to return to him void. 
He says to us that the wicked are being cut out of the earth and the righteous shall remain in it. These people are freaking kooks and they're good. They're just, I don't care if they're your family or not, they're kooks. If they sign their soul away, they're kooks, people. They don't get to say. They just don't. You need to stay calm because y'all's going to do something to this stupidness because he said he was going to burn a witch. It will turn a bond. This witch. Somebody's a murderer, a serial killer. They really are. There's all kinds of uh, butterflies all around this fool. Somebody's so freaking foolish in what they do, and it's their time to burn. And they're just nasty. And they've stolen a lot of things and everything else. So there's the devil coming out. Well, the devil is coming out. Because the devil, it's, it's clarifying the moon, people. That's real bad deception. Well, this person, that's, that's over. This is a boss. This is a father. We have the king of swords here. The king of swords came out today in my um, first reading with the Queen of England, with the Emperor and the Empress, which goes to, when the, those two letters come together in the Hebrew with those two cards, it's it's a war. It's slicing. It's, uh, it, there's anxiety around some people. Well, this is older people. So we got your mother and children, and we got a father type energy here, and bosses and real devilish stuff. We got the industry here as well. And um, something's piercing. This is a predator, people. This is a predator. But it's also divine grace. If somebody's wanting to heal something, then they are. This is a professional with the king of swords. Okay? This is somebody who...